everyone and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness the Indian Campaign. Don't get mad at me guys in the comments for saying the wrong intro. Today I'm kind of sad if I must be honest with you. Just slightly a bit sad. Not enough sad enough to not be all hyper and energetic but just slightly sad. Let me turn the light here. Okay, there we go. It makes my room much brighter than it actually seems because my room is pretty dark when I do not have my light on. But anyways, um, basically, if you want a little history, um, I have three things happening right now in my personal life. One is um, I'm going back to school on Tuesday. Probably when this video comes out, I'll already be in school. So, yeah, that's going to be fun. I'm taking a ton of AP courses. Which isn't really by choice, it's just more of that you kind of have to keep up with everyone else and I don't want to kind of fall behind and be like the uh, stupid old guy and, and stupid old in the group. So yeah, that's going to be fun for me. And then um, other things that happened is that the video before this got corrupted and so you guys, you guys probably saw it and you guys probably saw there was no audio in it. That was not by choice. Seriously, I did not choose to do that. That was just some random bug in Fraps that sometimes happens. You guys have experienced it a couple times, and it honestly stinks. In fact, let me make sure this video is actually recording properly, so give me a second. Okay, it is recording properly, so we are good there. <laughs> and then, yeah, so besides that, you know, losing like two hours or one hour, I don't remember, but losing a good amount of time of playing this game and you guys not really understanding what's happening. I mean, basically, what I could summarize it just like this. We became a, basically a really good great power. We're basically catching up to everyone and almost everything. And we went to war with the British and annihilated them again. It was really quite easy. And why are the rebels here? Dude, you're on hunt down rebels. Why are you not hunting down rebels? All right, well, you guys go deal with them. Sheesh, like, why are you not doing it? Why? You got no excuse. I will kill you guys all later, but not right now. I need you guys to stay on the island. And then, you know, finally, my uh, one of my favorite YouTubers just got, like, flagged for a video. Um, it seemed kind of stupid, so, yeah, I'm not going to talk much about it because by the time this video comes out, it'll probably be resolved, but, yeah. Kind of got a little bit mad in that point, so. Anyways, I'm just here playing video games because that's what I do on YouTube, play video games. And one of the little tiny states just went bankrupt. Sadly, I cannot attack it. And, yeah. Oh, I should probably mention this right now. A lot of you guys have been kind of mentioning you. Dude, conquer China. Dude, you should totally conquer China. You could, like, expand into all of China and, you know, do all this and do all that. Yes, I could. It wouldn't be that hard either to take all of China. Like, legitimately, if I just... If I spent the next, like, couple years, I could probably conquer all of China in just a very short amount of time. I mean, I could have probably the largest empire over here if I want to. But, problem is, I don't want to. <laughs> but I must be honest with you, it seems more of a pain than to actually do. And this war seems to be going on like a stupid, like just stupid stuff. I mean, it's just, it just seems more pain to go to war and then conquer all these regions that, really, what would they provide me? I mean, I have everything basically in India I want. Um, the only things I need to do now is take the rest of the British lands over here. And, I mean, the nearest state, the first state I have to conquer is over here, which is, you know, Yuan. Yuan's not really that uh, profitable, if you must know. I mean, from my own Canadian Let's Play, I know this is probably one of the least profitable regions. I mean, the only reason why I conquered it was because of its population, but honestly, I don't think I need a population boost. I'm pretty, I'm pretty content with my population right now. It's great. It's, it's honestly great, so... Uh, don't really see any point. Now, conquering Africa? That's a different story entirely, and I actually do want to do a couple more conquests of Africa. Like, I need to get some more oil deposits, because I only have, at this moment in time, only have one oil deposit. Where is it? There it is, right there. In this place, it's only producing about 3.99 oil. That isn't a lot, if you guys have known, if you guys have known this game long enough. That isn't a lot. So we need to find some other oil oil places oil oil place there we go yeah oil places so what I'm thinking I might do is I think I have to take this island right here from the British <laughs> oh my goodness the British are just like if I need to do something it has to involve the British that's just my general rule nowadays if I do something it must involve the British but yes I think we have to take this island right here because it not only has like a good amount of oil but then it'll also round out our kind of Indian empire we're trying to fill. In fact, 
what I kind of want to do, just going to give you guys a summary, is that I want to conquer just all of this, um, basically this, and maybe a couple of this. In fact, I might expand into Zing Sing when the Russians are really distracted, because it'd be really nice to get some more land. And, oh my goodness, Japan has become a great power. Are we buddies? Come on, buddies. We have to be buddies. Okay, we are both, we are both from Asia. We have to be buddies. It is almost like a law that we have to be buddies. Because we have to fight against the Western powers and their evil ideals. Huh. Because we have to stick together, bro. Me and you are friends now. Definitely friends. Yeah, you guys also have a decent military, which will also be a good help. But anyways, um, yeah. Speaking of which, we are dominating in a lot of aspects of life. Uh, we're a little bit falling behind in terms of um, in industry. But then again, we just start our industry again, and so... Honestly, I think in the long run, we're doing very, very well. Like, seriously, very, very well. I'm probably going to decrease this to about 11%. Uh, everything else can say about the same. I don't really need to be that high. In fact, research is doing awesomely right now. And I'm really, really, really hoping that this rebellion right here, right here, succeeds. I don't want any of these little states to come in and crush them out. Or do anything like that I want it to succeed because I want these guys to basically break away from from their evil evil uh, British counterparts because I kind of need them in my empire if I could have these guys in my empire it would kind of round out the rest of this little curve right here because it really it honestly looks quite awkward to have India and then just like nothing right here it honestly doesn't uh, I mean we've slowly but surely started to annex all these little tiny states that didn't want to join our perfect union Look at those stubborn little states. They think they can all be independent. <laughs> Show them. Show all of them. Okay. Hmm. Whatever. I don't really care about capitalists. <laughs> They're not really my, like, forte. Okay, proceed. Whatever. Work segregation. Good. You guys are getting better and better at industry. Wait. Baroda? Please tell me you guys became independent. Okay, so where's Baroda? Alright, where's Baroda, guys? Where's Baroda? Wait, is this Baroda? <gasps> Please tell me you became independent. Please tell me you became independent of the British. This will be an awesome episode if I can get this done. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, you are so getting conquered. Oh, yeah, you are not. I'm not even giving you a break. You're dying now. Die. Oh, yes, I finally get to unite my empire. Oh, this feels so happy. I feel so very happy. Okay, my army should be able to crush all those guys. Uh, I'm being discredited. I don't really care, British. You can do whatever you want. Right now, it seems like due to all the high taxation I'm doing, all these places are experiencing high rebellion demands. And for some reason, when I go to war, I get more money than I actually need. How does that work? Like, you know, in this game, it seems like it's better for me to be at war than to be at peace. Like, I hate to be like nagging everything but it really does feel like that it really does feel like that okay we're almost done with this war the quickest war I've ever seen but you know what it was so worth it <laughs> yes oh yes we have all this land we have all this land underneath our control okay and now you are now underneath our control you are no longer a part of the British you are now officially a part of our glorious empire welcome back <laughs> and now look at that Oh man, now, now that feels right. Now that feels right. We are slowly but surely annexing all these little tiny states. It feels just great. In fact, that war went so perfectly, it, it reignited our, our economy. We didn't even have to really do anything, and wow. Now we have our own route right here. The only problem I think I have to deal with this is, yep, it's not expanded. That's the only thing I have to deal with it. That could easily be fixed, though. Because I can easily fix that. Uh, probably should... No... I'm not going to upgrade Portugal. I still have kind of a grudge against them right now. I still don't like them. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, now we, have a, now we have a land route, which is awesome. So that means we are nearly conquering all the rest of I India. I mean, our India has basically become bigger. We are the biggest Indian nation ever. No nation, no empire will ever be able to speak of the Indians without us. I mean, we have created the golden age of India. It's basically, guys. Plus, we also need to create the golden age of refining fuel. We did. Okay, so you guys are doing pretty good. Uh, you guys are still kind of struggling. 
What I might do is create a clothes factory here to help you guys out. Because you guys are seeming like you guys are doing pretty good. Uh, here, you guys are doing pretty good. Let's sort by how much craftsmen are doing. Holy shoot! How many craftsmen can be... Oh my goodness, you guys are... You guys are selling me out, basically. Okay, uh, let's see. You're doing exceptionally well. I'm gonna just click you. Um... Don't know if I should increase you guys. Let's see, is there any, is there any good factories I can get? Because you guys are just doing awesome. Like, just awesome, okay? I don't need synthetic dye, because we can basically make our own dye by ourselves. Um, dang, there's so many people in here, though. Okay, uh... Why did I build... Oh, this must be the... This must be the capitalist on work. Because I know I didn't build this. Okay, but you know what? It's not that bad, so... Let's just... Dang it! I was gonna expand more! Dang it, why? Why are money... Why does money not grow on trees? Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay king yay. We still have a king still even though we shouldn't okay So there's some kind of war going on right now. Let's see what's going on. World War two What? Wait, why was I not informed about this? Huh wait 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 wait. How's it going? So what's the sides look like? Wait a minute Holy shoot Oh my goodness. This is our chance guys. This is our chance. If we go to war right now, how's it looking? How's the war looking? Because I don't want to enter this if this is a really bad decision. Um, Spain seems to be getting tore up. But then again, it's winning in Africa. Then again, Spain seems to be getting torn up everywhere. Hmm. On paper, they have more army men. Just because of the Russians. But in practice... Two Sicilies, I mean, this is a pretty powerful alliance right here. <sighs> Should I join in? This is actually a really big decision, and I'm actually going to take moments outside of this Let's Play to think about it. So, see you guys in a second when I'm done thinking about it. Okay, guys, I have officially decided. In the terms of, in the affairs of the Indian, of the Great, of the Second Great War, the Indian people have decided to ally with the Russians. Yes, everyone, I'm joining World War II. What? And the reason why I'm joining World War II is strictly because, you know what, it's gonna benefit me more. Okay? I highly doubt, and plus, I highly doubt that the, that the British are gonna have enough men to fight me in my own regions. Okay? Well, there's many reasons why. I've always just said there's many reasons why I think I'm gonna be able to beat this. So, Basically, it's this. If I control my theater of war, I think the Russians and everyone else will be able to control theirs. Okay? I'm pretty sure I can get my entire... I'm pretty sure I can get the entire uh, British lands over here underneath my control and then, you know, start going over here and doing all this. And plus, this will actually get my goals where I want. For free, may I add. I mean, this is going to give me a good traction of rubber. Which is, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but we need rubber. We need rubber for future instruments. Give me a good source of rubber. And then what I could also take is Malaysia. That will only give me about 6.8 infamy. 6.8 infamy. Okay. Now the only problem is that I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to win from this. Because, you know, I'm still the smallest power. But let me just check out. Let me just, yeah, let's just go like this so I can see how the battle's actually... Holy shoot, France, what the heck happened to you? Why did you let the... Why did you... Okay, this is a... <sighs> French troops, retreat, kill off all these guys, and then come and fight. Oh my goodness, then the Spanish... Okay. France, if, if I could control you right now, I would lead you guys to victory. You guys are not playing smart. See, so you have like a, you have a death stack right here. Why are you not using it to go kill up all these armies? Seriously, Russia will help you out eventually. Okay, Russia seems to be doing okay on their front. I mean, it does look like they're losing, but since there's only like five major armies over here, I think we could probably deal with them. Then there's also all these armies right here of both these guys, these guys, these guys. They really need to get military access, like seriously. Somebody get military access so you guys can all go. When did Saudi Sardinia Piedmont become communist? 
When did that happen? Okay, it's some things that ne never happened in this game. Yeah, okay, so... Wow. How did you let these guys get so many troops on your borders? Seriously. Like, uh, that doesn't even make any sense, France. Oh my goodness, who's the militaristic tactician? Who's the militaristic tactician in your army? Okay, I can understand why you're losing in the colonies. Because, you know, that's just expected. Egypt's actually doing okay right now, which is surprising. But still, everywhere else... Oh my goodness, wow, they are really te tearing apart the French over here. Let's see, how about over here? Are we doing okay over here? We're doing okay. Well, anyways... Alright. So now I'm a little bit worried about the French fart. Not fart. The front. The French front, not the French fart. Because that's... That's a serious, serious problem. Because if we really do lose that front, we will have major, major issues. Um, not to say that we couldn't win this war without them. In fact, it might even be beneficial that they were not in this war. Because then we could actually, like, just, like, guard off of the Polish front. It just means it's going to be much... Going to be ten times more difficult. I don't... Okay, so who's my allies in this war? Let's see. Sweden. Why do you guys not have alliance with... I almost feel like I should declare war on Sardinia Piedmont that... Oh, wait, this isn't Hearts of Iron. <laughs> I was thinking Hearts of Iron. You know, like, declare war on enemies so that you can... Uh, get your men's... Act you get your friend, allies, troops to get there. That doesn't work in this game. Doesn't work. Alright. I'm gonna have to think. Okay, I have my fleet right there. I have, should have two fleets. I remember that. Okay. Um, if I remember correctly, there's a fleet right here somewhere. Um... Basically, I guess we're going to do the exact same strategy we did the first time. Um, send one army man to go right there. I don't expect any attacks from the Tibetans. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my troops down here. I'm going to make this a little bit quicker this time. Um, don't I have two fleets? I swear I have two fleets. Oh, there it is. I was like, yeah, I, I swear I have two fleets. Like, seriously. Okay, you guys get on the boats. I'll send you guys instantly to Sumatra. Uh, my ships are definitely outdated. I'm not going to deny that, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Um, we're going to need to get some more. Hey, okay, you can be disclicked. Let's see, anyone else that's really doing good? Okay, you can be disclicked. Man, you guys, I don't know how you guys are making so much money off of me. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm. these guys are making lots and lots of money. Let's make another winery. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. Okay. Keep the men, keep the men right here. Um, my Mino Dubai province. Okay, I'm gonna send my soldiers to go over here. And we're gonna kind of go and attack the uh, British outposts right here because we need to start striking back at the African colonies. Basically, what I'm gonna do, guys, is my theater of war is gonna be all this. And if I really have to, I'll go send troops to go support the Russians because I am not. If I. If this war becomes just me versus the other powers, I will not give up because since they won't have any, like, land grabs on me, I think I'll be fine. Okay. Now, I better watch my soldiers very intently. I have to watch this ship that's going to be leaving because my ships are horribly, horribly outdated. Don't, I don't even want to hear that in the comment section, okay? And this is probably going to be an uncut, well, I mean, not uncut episode, but I'm not even going to tell when the episode begins or ends. Just saying that right now. Okay, yeah, they already have a lot of different people guarding. See, it looks like they're transports. Uh, looks like they're transports. Let me make sure. The second one to the end is transports, right? Yeah, they're all transports. They basically have lots of steamer ships right here guarding my land. Not exactly the most effective way to, to like, board me up, but blockade me, but I guess it works for the long run. Okay, we're gonna quickly go send some troops over here to to the top of here that way we can destroy if we can basically just destroy their entire outpost over here we have a big advantage I mean destroying the Spanish Philippine destroying all this I mean we are we are basically going to be destroying a lot of this okay you guys take our menu Dubai troops land them over here we have some already good allies of the Egyptians holding us down should be fine and France you're getting destroyed ah oh. They need help. They honestly need help, but I can't send help. Because my troops would get swallowed up by that big gigantic mess over there. Um, dang. 
Okay, what else we're gonna need to do? Well, I don't need to deploy yet, or massively deploy yet. When I start, like I said, the other thing I also mentioned is that if they do start sending in massive soldiers, then I will be ready for it, okay? So those steamers cannot get to my ships fast enough, because steamers can easily beat clippers. I mean, any type of clippers. Any type of clippers. Steamers can easily beat clippers. So, cannery output, cannery output, that's really good. I'm really glad to hear that. Oh my goodness. You guys, I really hope you guys become independent too. I'm just hoping a lot of you guys become independent. In fact, anyone has become independent? Uh, you guys are slowly making me happy. The fact you guys all want to become my empire makes me so happy. <laughs> Makes my life easier too, because then I don't have to deal with all these little tiny rebellions. Alright. If I strike right there, will that will that really be the most helpful I could be? I mean I could go try to turn the tide over here. I mean France is I guess France is doing okay. The starting uh, such a debate in my mind. That starting to turn the tide over here. They might just need some help. Well, I'll be looking at that place pretty closely, but what I really want to do is make sure that uh, this is this is going to be a long conquest, and it looks like hmm, they have a ton of soldiers right here. I know that, and they're going to soon come after. You know, I probably should just do a strategy and opt the strategy just to go help defend. I don't know. This is this is a big war now. This is, and I'm not the war leader either, so this is not one of those things that I should be like doing okay so that should build up that should build up enough for there um you guys need about one new factory holy shoot why are you guys failing do that seriously okay i don't know why they're failing uh you guys build an extra paper mill uh, you guys just need one thing so i have enough sulfide i don't know why you're complaining about the sulfide i have enough sulfide um, can factory you don't really need to support right now because it's actually doing pretty well here should we make another one why not let's make another one okay and then the rest of these are all really small so I don't have to deal with them okay all right okay we got ships right there everyone quickly retreat get out of the sea as quickly as possible the sea is not a friend I did not I mean I did brag about having the sea last episode but I was just joking about that I'm not even sure we could really take on the British that's it. We should try again. Always keep trying again. We need to get that prestige so we can start passing other powers in terms of prestige. Because that's one of our goals, is passing powers in terms of prestige. Okay, so let's see. Over here, we're just going to be taking out as many as we can. Um, I might also become the sole protectorate of Egypt. I'm pretty sure Egypt's going to be messing the heck up. The, a the AI in this game is just atrocious. Like, legitly, it's atrocious. Okay. Um... Shouldn't have to worry about any attacks coming. Okay, I do have that island guarded. Good. The island needs to be guarded. It's like a terrible island for everyone. Okay, and then my other soldiers are going down there. Okay, we will own this island before the night's out. Or before the year's out. Holy shoot, these guys are losing badly. I should probably get some war goals. Acquire West of Fargan. Okay, so can I get some war goals? Why can't I add war goals? No! Let me add war goals! Seriously, let me add war goals. I don't know how we're winning so badly, but wait, how are we winning so badly? I, I still don't know, but we're winning really badly, so I'm just going to accept that and just say, well, I didn't really do much, but okay. <laughs> I didn't do much, but okay. I guess I could say I'm like America and I turned the tide of World War One. That That's what I could say, but I, I honestly did nothing. Okay, so what do we need? Uh, the pot Diplomatic relations would be really nice. Okay. So let's see, go up here, go up here. I mean, the British probably don't even care about this colony, but I really do. So I really need to take it from the British. I need to add one war goal. Let me add, war is not, it's going 48% good. How is that not good enough? Okay, and apparently China won one of its wars of annexation Gensai. Good job, China. It took you like a couple years to do this, but good job. Good job, little China. Good job. Well, actually, it shouldn't be little anymore. It should be big China. Yeah, big China. <laughs> it looks kind of weird right now because it still needs to conquer all of its other neighbors, but that's scary because now China is becoming an actual power. That's not good because I don't want them to become a power. So I will, I may have to actually conquer some of.